Good morning guys. Now I am on Odoo version 19 and would like to show how you as an individual or your accountant or your warehouse manager or the production manager can find the manufacturing variants. So everyone is confused sometimes to retry but this report is present since long in version 17, 18 and 19 also. So let's say I have recently run some of the manufacturing orders with different different uh, you know need recently. So in Odoo when you run and you check the overview you find the standard unit cost you know and then real cost okay this is how you will find the difference so when you go to overview again the unit cost as well as real cost okay this is how each and every manufacturing order will show you now over here in reporting you have production analysis report once you switch to pivot view you will be able to see a lot of parameter over here which gives you the average component cost to average employee operation and total cost per unit as well as the expected component expected employee expected operation and expected total cost and then quantity demand and quantity produce this is how the entire production analysis can lead you to variance report so let's jump and create our own variance report based on all these parameter so let me disable everything over here now what i need to see how many quantities demanded how many produced and I need to see total cost also with total component cost and total cost of the production post production okay and then what I will do I would like to see the expected total cost per unit which is coming from my BOM overview and then average total cost per unit which is coming after the production done now my FG1 is there and I would like to see per manufacturing order variance. So this is where now you can see from MO1 to MO5, I have been producing different, different quantities. And then my total component cost was same. And over here it is doubled and my total cost is doubled over here. How? And then this is the standard expected cost, which is coming from my BOM overview, which is based on standard operation and standard component. But here I can see the real average cost per unit, which is coming real time from each and every manufacturing order. So first MO, it used to be 249, then second and third, exact same. And then fourth and fifth, it is different. So let's run one more manufacturing order for FG1 where I am planning to produce one unit and I confirm. So as soon as I go to overview, this is my standard MO cost. This is my BOM related cost with operation cost included. Now what happened during my purchase? Now let's say this particular item cost me more and I confirm the order and I receive the item in my warehouse. And then the another item which cost me almost double this time. So I confirm the order and I receive that item. Before I proceed further, what I need to do is I need to go to purchase and register my valuation. Once I confirm and create the bill, at that time only Odoo will create my stock valuation entry over here in inventory. So now if I go to my MO, the manufacturing order and I see my overview, now you can see entire thing change because this item, the cost is changed and my unit cost is also changing with consideration to operation. Now what happens in real time, I am planning this and inside my work order, let's say what I will do, I will change the operation time. So here, let's say I am giving a different time 
like around 22 minutes and for this I am giving almost one hour plus time. So on my overview now you can see the AMO would have been costing 380 but the real cost is 368 for this particular operation. And once I press produce all then I can see the new cost of real production is 368. Now let's jump to our reporting and production analysis in the pivot view. Once we will run the quantity demand, quantity produce and total cost. Now I would like to compare the expected and the average. Now I will run against my MO. So entire thing is now changed because now expected total cost was changed based on my component cost as a new cost. And then I we can see the expected cost has been updated per unit via this and now average total cost remains same for historical order also. So this is how now you can see the variance of your production cost. Okay. So total component cost you can even see over here which increased in last two orders and total operation and employee cost which you can even compare based on this and this is my expected one which we always can compare with my real cost of operation. So if I only want to see and comparison like total component cost then you can see expected was this and average was this per unit. So this is how you can quickly see the variance of your manufacturing order per manufacturing order for different orders at different period of time and then you can even take it to the spreadsheet and then continue your analysis further into spreadsheet formula. So this report is very handy in my reporting and production analysis. You can run this report in any of your own version and you can parameterize your measurement update from this check and then you can see the variance over here in Odoo manufacturing reporting. Hope this will help many people to find this quickly and help handy. If you have any question, do reach me on my YouTube, LinkedIn or email. Thank you guys. Have a good day.